Hello, my name is Gene, and I'm a strand of DNA. And I'm here to explain the genetics behind Huntington's disease. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Why do I look like a pair of genes? Seriously, guys, you had one job. I'm meant to look like a genetic strand of DNA, not a pair of denims. I guess you want me to do the whole video looking like this, don't you? Uh, sorry, Gene. We can't change it now. Uh-huh. Hello, my name is Cody, and I'm a CAG repeat. Me and Gene are co-presenters today. Gene? Hey, why are you dressed like Gene's for? Hi, Cody. Thank this guy over here, amateur. I see you got Cody's outfit right, though, hey? Gene, can you explain DNA to the viewers and give me a call when you are ready to teach them about CAG repeats? That's my part. Sure, Cody. So HD is a genetic neurodegenerative condition, which means it can be inherited through a family. To understand the genetics of HD, you need to first understand DNA, genes, and chromosomes. DNA is something we inherit from our parents. It's like a recipe on how to make each of us. DNA is a genetic code which... Hello again, everyone! You called, Gene? Are you done with DNA already? That was real quick! Er, hi, Cody. No, I was talking about the genetic code. Oh, my bad. I thought you called my name. My hearing is not so good. I don't have any ears. So... Where were we? Yes, DNA is a genetic code which decides things like our hair color, height, and aspects of our personality. DNA is made up of things called genes. Oh, that's real funny. You should be a comedian. Thanks. You know very well it's not those kind of genes. It's a gene. There are around 23,000 genes in the cells in our bodies. Each gene is like a set of instructions for cells in our body to help it work properly. Genes are packed into things called chromosomes. We have 46 chromosomes in our DNA, 23 from mom and 23 from dad. We know that HD is caused by a gene on the fourth chromosome. That's not fair. I don't have any control over any of the genes in me, dude. Okay, as I was saying, HD is caused by a mutation on a gene in chromosome four. Oh, here's the comedian again. Stop it. Stop drawing the X-Men. Mutation does not have to mean mutants. In this case, one gene as chromosome four is longer than it should be, and that causes HD. This long gene is caused by something called CAG repeats. Maybe I should call Cody now, as he likes to do this part. Cody? Hello again, everyone. I'm at the CAG repeat part, Cody. Well, I'm Cody, the CAG repeat, so I got this, buddy. So. You may or may not know that our DNA is made up of four bases, which are known as adenine, abbreviated A, cystosine, C, guanine, G, and thymine, T. These bases are the code behind all our DNA. If we were to write a gene code down, it would look like each letter stands for one of the four DNA bases. The gene that causes HD has a CAG repeat on it. This is normal. Everyone has a CAG repeat on this gene usually about 16 or 17 repeats. But people with HD have more repeats than usual. Thanks, Gene. Hi, Cody. You're an expert at explaining this. How many CAG repeats does it take to get HD? Thanks, Gene. People with HD usually have over 40 CAG repeats, but there are actually four ranges that CAG repeats may fall into. As I said, everything over 40 is going to cause HD for that person, and there is a risk of passing HD on to their children. Something between 36 and 39 repeats means you may or may not get HD, but there is still a risk of passing HD on. Anything between 27 and 35 means that person won't get HD, but there is a very small chance HD could be passed on. Finally, anything below 27 means no HD for you and no risk for future generations. Amazing! I can see why they hired you, Cody. I hope they are paying you well for this job. You know your CAG repeats. Er, Gene? It's for charity. I'm doing it for free. Oh, wow. How nice of us. Remind me to thank my agent next time I see him. All right, moving on. So, how do you inherit HD from someone and what risks does that give people of getting HD? Great questions, Cody. I have a question for the audience. How many copies of a gene do we have inside us? The answer is two copies of each gene. You might think it would be one, but if you remember, 
We said that you get one chromosome of genes from your mother and another from your father, giving you two of everything. So, people actually have two copies of the gene that causes HD, one from their mom and another from dad. Because HD is what we call autosomal dominant, it only takes one gene that has HD to cause someone to get HD. So in this example, this person has one gene that is 40 plus CAG repeats and will cause HD. They have another which is completely normal, but because they have one gene with HD, the person will unfortunately develop HD. Gene, so what happens if someone who has HD wants to have a child? Is there a risk of inheriting HD? Yes, there is, Cody. Let's use this guy as an example. He has the gene that will cause HD, but he doesn't have any symptoms, so he is healthy right now. Let's say he is a married man. His wife comes from a family of no HD and has two normal versions of the gene that causes HD. So, she has no risk of getting HD or passing it on. If they were to have a child together, the child would inherit one gene from dad and another from mom. We don't know what gene they would inherit from mom or dad, but they must have one from each. This leads to four possible outcomes for the child. One, the child inherits dad's normal gene and mom's first normal gene, equaling no HD. Two, the child inherits dad's HD gene and mom's first normal gene, equaling HD. Three, the child inherits dad's HD gene and mom's second normal gene, equaling HD. Four, the child inherits dad's normal gene and mom's second normal gene, equaling no HD. If you are good at math, you will realize that out of those four possibilities, two cause HD and two don't, which means the child would have a 50% risk of inheriting HD from their parents. Nice work, Gene. What about if your grandparent has HD, but you don't know if your parent does? What kind of risk do people have in that situation? Thanks, Cody. Well, in this case, we could say that the grandparent has HD, so the risk is 100%, and we don't know if their adult child, the parent, has HD, so they are still at risk 50% of inheriting HD. If they had a child, then we would half the risk of their parent to give a probability that the child would get HD. In this case, 25%. But this probability could change over time because this probability was done with no knowledge of the parent's HD status. So, if the parent's HD status becomes known at some point, that would change the child's risk. If the parent did have HD, then the child's risk would increase to 50%. But if the parent didn't have HD, then the child's risk would disappear to 0%. Okay, folks, that's it. We're at the end of this video. We hope you understand how the inheritance of HD works a bit better now. Please, if you have any questions, just ask us at HDEO. Support at HDEO.org. Thank you, everybody. Hopefully next time we meet and I'm dressed correctly. I'm going off now to say hello to my dear agent.